Private members' business was taken up on day two of the autumn session of the Meghalaya Assembly for the year 2023. The day began with questionnaire. Nongkram legislator Arden Miller Basayomot raised questions in relation to compensation provided to farmers in the wake of lumpy skin disease and large-scale pig deaths. Minister in charge animal husbandry and veterinary A.L. Heck informed that although no compensation has been provided as yet, the government is assessing the cost of the lumpy skin disease outbreak following which compensation will be paid. Opposition leader and Malayam MLA Ronnie V. Lingda and Gambigri legislator Saling Sangma raised supplementary questions. Umsning legislator Dr. Celestine Ningda raised questions in relation to the Patarkhama civil subdivision. Minister in charge General Administration Rakam A. Sangma informed that the government will provide an office building for the civil subdivision and a proposal for creation of posts have been initiated. Shala legislator Balajit K. Sindram raised a query in regards to the Pradhan Mantri Kanich Shetra Kalyan Yojana. Chief Minister in charge Mining and Geology Department Konrad K. Sangma Informed that the state government has received rupees 135 crores, 8 lakhs 22,931 under the PMKKKY till date. He informed that the amount received under the Yojana in East Khasi Hills for the year 2022-23 is rupees 9 crores 67 lakhs 16,194. Songsak MLA Dr. Mukul Sangma and Gambigri legislator Saleng Sangma raised supplementary queries. Nongpo legislator Meryl Bonds aim raised a question in regards to crime registered in the state during 2020-2023. Deputy Chief Minister in Charge Home Police Prastun Tinsong informed that East Khasi Hills District has the maximum number of crimes registered from 2020-23. to 23. The district recorded 5,196 crimes in total. He informed of the steps taken by the government to control crime in the state. Non-crime legislator Arden Miller Basayomot raised a point of order over the repeat of identical questions in the House and requested for Repetitions and topics taken up for discussion be avoided. Songsak MLA Dr. Mukul Sangma also echoed similar views. Deputy Chief Minister in Charge Parliamentary Affairs urged for the same topics to be combined together so there could be more time to debate on various topics. Chief Minister Konrad Sangma added that time frames for matters and issues raised under different provisions should also be adhered to. Assembly Speaker Thomas A. Sangma stated that the points raised by members have been noted for further consideration. Nongpoli Legislator Meryl Bond's aim moved a zero-hour notice on the issue of drug menace. Deputy Chief Minister in Charge Home Police Department shared information on the heroin seizure case at Clariat and informed that since 2019 till the 6th of September 2023, the total valuation of narcotics, drugs and psychotropic substances seized is approximately Rs 223 crores. He also informed that the police department has already submitted a proposal to initiate legal action against nine repeated offenders as per the provisions of the Prevention of Illicit Trafficking in Narcotic Drugs and Psychotropic Substances Act 1988. Not Shillong legislator Adalbert Nongro moved a zero-hour notice in relation to the tragic incident wherein a pregnant mother lost her newborn when she was forced to deliver her child in a vehicle after being stuck in traffic for three hours. The traffic was caused due to a fishing competition being held at Pampernai in Kse Kolong village, West Khasi Hills. Deputy Chief Minister in Charge Home Police Department stated that a statement will be laid in the House tomorrow. Nongpo legislator Marabon's aim called the attention of Education Minister Rakam A. Sangma to the matters related to JNV Nyangbari, Riboy District, wherein it was reported that students of the school were provided spoiled food, unsafe drinking water, expired medicines, and irregular supply of sanitary pads. Minister in Charge Education Department Rakam A. Sangma stated that immediate action was taken on receipt of the information and the district administration collected food and water samples and sent it for testing the same day. He informed that a surprise inspection was also conducted in August and with regards to water supply, a letter has been sent to the PHE department for preparation of an estimate 
for a deep bore well to provide additional water supply. The minister added that the education department has taken serious note of the matter and instructed the district school education officer to regularly monitor the school. Nongpo legislator Meryl Bond's aim raised a short-duration discussion to the news item published in Umau Por, dated 25 September 2023, under the caption, In Pintray Kam Ka Reliance GI Company Limited, Yaka Contract MHIS, but PMJAY Hamighalia. Health Minister Dr. Amprin Lingda stated that the Reliance General Insurance Company Limited is the current insurance company identified for implementing the MIGHA Health Insurance Scheme Phase 6 Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogya Yojana Scheme in Meghalaya, and the company has been selected through a rigorous and competitive bidding process. She highlighted the key features of MHIS 6 PMJAY and also informed that Meghalaya is the only state in the country targeting OPD services under a government-sponsored health insurance scheme. She also addressed concerns raised on the Meghalaya Employee Health Scheme implementation. Following this, Minister in Charge PHE Department Marcus Marak responded to the pending motion on the style and functioning of the PHE Department with special emphasis on the ongoing Upper Shillong Water Supply Project and Jal Jeevan Mission in Malayam Constituency. The House then took up a special motion to discuss the excessive use of force and police brutality during the public hearing of the Meghalaya Simmons Limited at Thang Sai Village on the 24th of September 2023. The motion was moved by Maulai MLA Bright Starwell Marbanyang. The Maulai legislator condemned the excessive use of force and urged the government to compensate the victims. Legislators Adalbert Nongrum, Arden Basayamwait, Charles Pugrobe, and Dr. Mukul Sangma participated in the motion. Deputy Chief Minister Home Police Prasthun Tinsong, in his reply, provided a comprehensive account of the events that transpired during the public rally. He informed that the police team had to intervene when the mob gathered outside the top cement premises breached the premises of the cement factory. He informed that the police had to use reasonable force to contain the violent mob and 11 police personnel sustained injuries. He added that as of now, no complaint have been received from individuals that suffered injuries during the incident. He also said that it is crucial to recognize the complexities and challenges faced by law enforcement personnel when dealing with situations where the safety of innocent civilians, including women and children, is paramount. Nongkrem MLA Arden Basayamwait moved a motion to discuss the menace of drugs and substance abuse in the state. In his speech, he pointed out that illicit drug trafficking and substance abuse are on the rise. He stated that drug peddlers have been misusing loopholes in the law and the act has to be strengthened. He also urged the government to provide rehab centers charging minimal rates for those seeking rehabilitation. Legislators Charles Marngar, Gabriel Walang and Dr. Mukul Sangma participated in the motion. Not long legislator Adalbert Nong Room will continue his speech in the next private member's business day. Meghalaya Assembly Speaker Thomas A. Sangma then adjourned the House till 10 a.m. tomorrow, that is the 20th of September 2023.